Good morning. Um, the title of my presentation has been deliberately chosen to include the topics of uh, digital assistance and data analytics. Let me tell you why. Digital assistance, in my view, in my humble view, is at the intersection of or the confluence of both cognitive technologies, also called artificial intelligence, although I don't really like that word because it connotes too many things that are beyond our reach right now. The second item that uh, contributes is, yes, analytics and machine learning. And third and not last is, it involves a lot of data, call it big data in different forms. So digital assistance is the, uh, the, the topic of the day. And I'd like to start with uh, something that has already been said by my predecessor speaker here from Vodafone, namely the motivation why people embark on, on developing digital uh, assistants or, or chatbots. You know, the, the first chatbot in the world has been developed as a psychological assistant, a psychiat psychiatric, psychiatric help by a, uh, a, a mathematician called Joseph Weizenbaum in the 50s. He notably called it Eliza, alluding to the uh, uh, literature figure in uh, uh, Pygmalion by George Bernard Shaw. Pygmalion was a, uh, sorry, the, the, uh, Eliza was a, a sales girl selling flowers, and she pretended to understand a lot, but in reality she did not. And he, he used this metaphor to not only self-deprecate his work, but to show that it's, it is understanding, but at a very shallow level. And uh, chatbots today, whether they're the series or echoes or whatever they are out there, if they pretend to understand, it's a very shallow level. It's not the deep understanding that we humans uh, believe we have, let me call it this way. And so this is the first chatbot ever. So why are people now engaging in chatbots? The, uh, the motivation of uh, the, the telecommunication companies uh, finds its uh, uh, mirror image in the, com in the, in the uh, uh, motivation of uh, retailers, of uh, banks, of uh, 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 machine uh, uh, manufacturing industries. They are trying to pay tribute to the fact that the younger generation, and not only the younger generation, because although I'm not a, a representative of the millennials, I'm also very impatient. And I'm impatient when I have a, a, a conversation on the phone that you, that you have displayed here on, on my slide. I'm more inclined to side with the younger people who are underwhelmed by some of those services and their, uh, their disappointment is reflected in the fact that they switch providers, full stop. This is the, uh, the, the one of the main drivers to generate a new experience for our customers. The second driver is not here on the slide, but it's uh, equally valid, namely a lot of people are expecting cost reductions. Cost reduction is a very important point in, or the, the, the other side of the coin, not only reducing the number of staff in, uh, in, in, in uh, client centers, but increasing the, their scalability. In other words, to allow the same number of people to serve as many more customer calls at the same, uh, and also to focus on the more important customer calls. Because there is a phenomenon that, that, that uh, comes to play here, it's called the Call the old piano rule, the 80-20 rule, or the fat tail, whatever you want to call it, namely that the majority of calls are trivial, easily to be handled by artificial intelligence tools like digital assistants. Uh, I've been talking about chatbots and digital assistants. Now, I, think, I believe it's uh, only valid and worthwhile to tell you what I believe the difference between those two is or what, what the, the, the common characteristics are. Uh, number one, yes, natural language capabilities of the sort that I can speak as I'm speaking to you now and that this artificial uh, or, or, or uh, uh, machine uh, counterpart understands, at least on a surface level, what I want, what my intents are, and what I'm talking about so on a surface level. Whether I speak to this thing or whether I write to this thing is immaterial because there are, of course, language recognition tools out there that can be used. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, if I have a conversation with you, I'm speaking freely to you, I'm not reading, but I have a kind of a threat in mind, a thread, not a threat, a thread in mind that I'd like to follow and I, I'd like to stay close to it, otherwise I will extend my, the, the t time a lot to me, okay? And you will point it out to me when I'm, when I'm running the risk to do that. So I have a target, I have a, a, a kind of conversational uh, script, a, uh, a choreography that, I Im that we embed in those, uh, tool in those tools likewise. So to stay focused is an important point, but then also to respond to the uh, vagaries of language or the, language, uh, the, uh, the uh, diversity of uh, human intercourse. Last, the uh, next point is crucial to differentiating between chatbots and digital assistant. I don't want this chatbot simply to steal my time talking to me if I want to talk to Somebody, I talk to people, I prefer people in this sense, in this, in this regard, but I want these uh, assistants to do something for me. Either make a reservation or give me uh, information about uh, how to s uh, fix a certain problem or uh, help me get a loan from, from a bank, different services. In order to do these, these digital assistants need to tap, to be able to tap, a wealth of information, of knowledge, rules that will allow them to provide these services for me. Last not least, these things are not programmed. These things are trained by trainers. We do this training for them. We do try to provide them with the necessary information, but then upon usage of these systems, we want these systems to continuously improve, also known as learn. This is, this is, the, this is the, the story behind those chatbots or digital assistants, rather. What you see here is the uh, a slide of a uh, chatbot that Axions has developed for an Austrian bank. This bank is a major bank in central and eastern Europe and Austria and their uh, uh, mobile banking application also has um, a service whereby under fixed terms and conditions small loans can be applied and, 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 uh, and uh, 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 gotten by their uh, clients. Now th of course there are some fixed terms like uh, you can only uh, choose up to a certain amount of money. The, the conditions are kind of prefixed in terms of the, the interest that you pay, in terms of the duration of the loan. So this chatbot, this digital assistant goes way beyond that. It allows the customer to start negotiating in a dialogue, in la natural language, uh, asking uh, the, 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 the digital assistants ask questions like, what do you need this loan for? How much do you need? And if, for instance, I said, I'm not happy with the 8,000 euros offered to, to fund my new apartment, to, serve, to, to furnish my new apartment, I'd rather need 12,000 or 14,000. The system will engage me in a dialogue trying to probe my financial capabilities to re repay the loan to uh, allow the, uh, the, the system to assess my credit worthiness. If I would like to then to uh, change the, uh, the financial conditions, 6% today is ridiculous in, in times of a uh, zero uh, uh, percent loan. So if I want a uh, more uh, uh, accommodating uh, um, uh, interest payment, I'm engaged in a dialogue uh, trying to sell me variable uh, 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 funded uh, uh, variable interest rates on these loans. So this is a, cert, uh, a specific example that Axions has developed for this bank and we are now developing yet another chatbot in, in the same vein for the same company. Manufacturing industry is another example where uh, these technologies are uh, being used extensively. This is an example of a German company where we with our partners IBM developed a chatbot 
uh, to support the maintenance engineer upon his uh, uh, trip to a, a customer site where problems with the machine have been reported in the sense that uh, he is in, uh, equipped on his system of engagement in this, in this uh, picture here, a, an iPhone uh, type of device with an application that uh, should he not know the, t the, the, the type of the system or the type of the component, he can take a picture and with image recognition and the combination of uh, information in the uh, ERP system of, of, of choice he will get the exact number of the part, he will get the exact description of the, of, the, of the machine, but not only that, he can tap at the very instance of his uh, engagement at the customer site, all the history of that machine, in particular, the behavior patterns of that machine over the last couple of, uh, of hours that led to this malfunctioning. And he can do this in natural language interaction with this system. What is the, 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 the effect of this? Much more efficient and much more cost efficient uh, way to service the, uh, those machines out there. E-government has been around for decades and as a consequence of uh, e-government in the public sector a whole host of uh, uh, websites have been built purporting to solve the uh, woes and problems of citizens depending on, on their, their, their current situation, whether they would like to move to another uh, 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 community, whether they are, have to pay taxes, whether they are registering a new car or whether they're getting a new child or whatever. So all this information is well structured depending on the life uh, event uh, and also structured by the kind of services given, namely the forms that are requested there, the people to call, but it's a humongous amount of information there, overwhelming the, the, the citizen if he really needs something quick. So here the, uh, the, an application, a, a ch the digital chatbot has been developed solely for the purpose of helping the citizen to find the right information. It's it's not that fancy, but it helps a lot. It is because it goes beyond the, uh, the, the, the type of Google search where you just enter keywords and then the system gives you the, uh, the list of, 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 of um, pages or documents where those uh, docu uh, 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 images can be, or this information can be found. I'm sorry that you are not able to understand the German here, but you have to trust me that this is really the situation that I'm describing. Those are the three examples of digital assistance that we have as Oxyons been uh, in, uh, engaged over the last couple of uh, uh, months. Now I'd like to show you some of the technology that is, that is behind it. In the, uh, supporting the uh, digital engineer, or sorry, supporting the mechanical engineer trying to fix the problem with the, uh, the, the, the system and the components out there. This is an example where we address big data in the sense of voluminous data and streaming data. Uh, this example uh, comes from an international organization whose objective it is to monitor or to, to assure the compliance of nations with the uh, uh, comprehensive test ban treaty, namely pro prohibiting nations to, to uh, uh, do nuclear bomb tests all, all over the world. So this organization has a lot of sensors all over the world and uh, of course these sensors are continuously monitored to, to see whether they're functioning properly and also to monitor those results. So the, the, the question here is, once this data comes in, is it uh, normal or is it abnormal behavior? Uh, the, the, the measurements are there in terms of multivariate time series, about 70 or 80 different sensors uh, bring their, uh, their measurements in, in uh, about a terabyte per day. And this, this, this data is continuously monitored, trying to separate the wheat from the chaff. In other words, to separate the good days from the bad days. Once a bad day occurs, or an, uh, an, uh, an aberrant behavior is detected, the, uh, the, the question is, of course, wh why is it, uh, why does this uh, uh, day 
differ from the others. And this is where we start with, with the, uh, the cloud that you see there on the slide, which is a, uh, the, uh, a representation of the relationship between those different uh, measurements on a, on a good day, and then you compare the same cloud with, the, with the, the correlations on a day that is aberrant, and from the differences of those two, of those two uh, uh, situations, you can easily then determine the combination of, uh, of, of uh, sensors that show that something was going haywire. This is a, a basic technology that we use for continuous-based management, which is, again, the foundation then of digital assistants to uh, uh, give their advice in a certain situation. Another form of big data is, of course, big data is not only the, the, the structured data, like the, uh, the measurements were in the previous slide. Big data also is in the sense of uh, documents, written texts all over the world. It's humongous. And again, you can, of course, uh, try to ask queries of the type of uh, just keywords, but off, more often than not, the questions are of a different kind, namely, what do we know about the relationship between two different persons? And this is the example that I show here. Uh, show you here. It is an investi uh, a public investigation committee in Austria has, uh, over the past years, tried to shed light on, on uh, malfeasance and, uh, and uh, corruption affairs, not only in telecommunications, but in other areas as well, like procurement of, uh, there's currently one going on in Austria, the procure procurement of the Eurofighters. You know, whenever politics and, uh, and, 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 and economics co converge or, or work together, there is some, some room for uh, people not to necessarily to behave properly. And anyway, there are some, uh, some uh, uh, investigations going on. And with this technology here, we were able to answer such questions, not only by listing a, uh, uh, the documents where those people have been mentioned, but to extract the information and display it in this network that you see here, showing not only the, uh, the organizations that these people have been involved in, not only the relations between the people themselves, but also the kind of relations. When and where did they meet? How much money was transferred between them? And when you click on each of, uh, and, and, and every one of those nodes and, and, and edges there, you get directly to that chapter, to that paragraph that has the evidence for that relation. So this is a, a, a very valuable tool for all kind of investigative committees. You might be, uh, 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 I don't know how many of you are watching those CSI series on, on, on TV or the Hollywood movies. This is a step towards them, okay? Images are even more dominant in, the, in, in today's world, providing data, and are becoming even more dominant by, this, 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 this is being streamed here, right? Providing a lot of humongous, a humongous amount of data again. And there are technologies out there, Microsoft, for instance, this is a Microsoft uh, uh, image here that I uh, borrowed. Um, has technologies out there that not only identify faces and persons, but in addition allow to infer some characteristic psychological traits about the persons that are there. The, the two characters in those two pictures, this are the, 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 the one that are flanking the, uh, the UN uh, General Secretary here, are the, the current dominant figures in Austrian politics. They are contending for the uh, chancellor in the, uh, in the in the next upcoming election in October, and uh, the characteristic here you see on the left, the uh, representative of the uh, Austrian Social Democratic Party, which has uh, neutral. It's misspelled anyway, but he's he's the kind of poker player. You cannot necessarily see a lot of emotions from his face. Conversely, the, his. Uh, his contender, the uh, the, the conservative um, uh, uh, hitman on the on the right, he's very happy 
with 0.41. So he, he likes to be in the limelight. He likes to stay in the front of people and, 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 and not necessarily show off. I, I don't want to insinuate that he's, uh, he's, he's showing off, but th this kind of information, you don't need people anymore to do this. You have computers to do it. That's the message here. And this information, of course, is also fed into a knowledge base, which digital assistants can tap to, to, to formulate answers or to, to come to, inf to make inferences and make conclusions. Uh, I've tried to show you some, some of the, the methodologies that we use to tap information if we have if we know that there's something out there that we don't know yet. However, there is the famous or infamous saying of uh, Donald Rumsfeld uh, about those unknown unknowns. There are so many things out there in this world today where we don't have any idea yet of what it is. This is a conundrum sort of thing. However, I do not purport to be able to solve this conundrum, but there are means that allow us to narrow this gap. And one of them is uh, there are methods out there, or there have been methods out there for several years in, uh, in artificial intelligence and text mining uh, that allow you to identify new trends by doing some uh, linguistic analysis. New trends or new topics are identified by a unique combination of, of certain words or bags of words. And uh, we've done such a, a, a trial with the uh, uh, security uh, de uh, department of the uh, Ministry of uh, Defense in Austria where they try to identify security risks and then uh, write official reports of them on a biannual basis. And we identified such uh, new topics there on the way uh, which don't have a headline yet, but by, com by looking at those uh, bags of words, for instance, you can see, or I don't know whether you can read it from the back, you can see that the first uh, 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 column of words describe a, a series of, 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 of mentions in the, in, the, in the press and in the media about uh, uh, homeless people in the Chicago area becoming increasingly uh, addicted to uh, new, uh, a, a, a new wave of addiction to um, uh, um, drugs. That's, that's the first situation. The second case is uh, uh, murder charges of uh, uh, officers that has created a lot of uh, uh, media attention and, and so forth. So this is uh, the, the, an att attempt to address the uh, unknown unknown dilemma of uh, Donald Rumsfeld. So what does Oxyons do in all this thing? Uh, we've, we've heard from, uh, I'm, I'm almost there, we've heard from Paolo that Oxyons is trying to develop hybrid solutions. Yes, that's what, exactly what we do. We're not developing our own softwares. We're not developing our own algorithms. We're taking the best of breed out there and then assemble them and develop solutions of the sort that I've, tr I've tried to present to you. So in other words, we are kind of teachers. We're trying to teach those systems, those machine learning hybrid systems to behave properly. Now teaching is a, is a, is a, is a very delicate subject and you've probably also read about news uh, articles about a chatbot that had been po uh, posted or published or on, on Facebook which overnight has been turned into a fascist because people have been uh, asking him the, 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 some, uh, some biased questions, let me put it this way. So teaching is a very, is, is delicate, okay? Uh, so yes, we do natural language classifier training, we do sentiment analysis, we do the conversation flow and control. But the most important thing is in the middle, we, we provide the knowledge, in other words, we ingest all the, the information that customers have at their disposition to build those knowledge bases that then those chatbots can tap to become digital assistants. And yes, uh, uh, true to our mission and within Axions, we try to uh, uh, provide this chatbots to you using the, the best of breed uh, uh, um, application, uh, sorry, APIs out there deploying them up across different uh, mean, uh, systems of engagement 
and uh, also deploying them on site or as a service, an assistant as a service. Where do we go from here? Continuing the road to incorporate models to provide subject matter knowledge. This is the kind of the holy grail. This is it, 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 this knowledge bases are at an infancy stage right now. They are there, but there is not necessarily the encompassing, comprehensive knowledge base structure yet. This will be a, possibly a topic in the near future. And if I say near future, I, I'm, I'm counting on a year, a year and a half. Some of our other vendor will come to this, whether it's the IBM Jeopardy uh, technology that has been used, the IBM Watson technology in Jeopardy or others. Uh, I don't know. Maybe IDC can help us there in uh, looking in the future. Uh, specifically in our chatbots, in our digital assistants, we will uh, continue to invest in, uh, in uh, further sentiment analysis to Im improve the experience of the users. We will enhance it with speech recognition and language synthesis. Remember the last bag of words where I was at, 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 at where I had a problem to formulate the, 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 the uh, combining topic, the, uh, the headline. We need assistance there to, uh, to help us give names to those new phenomena that we don't know yet, that we don't know them. Uh, Improving learning capabilities. Machine learning is, is a topic that, or a word that has been mentioned on uh, 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 several times before. Machine learning is, uh, is, is certainly uh, something that we are pursuing. However, at this stage, yes, we do train our systems. Yes, we do continuously improve them, but still with human intervention. They are not automatically training themselves. And yes, we will continue to use best of breed APIs of the sort that are listed here, both uh, relying on vendors, but increasingly also relying on open source technology, which is prolific. Thank you so much. This concludes my presentation. Any questions, I'm, I'll be happy to answer them.